Welcome with us, folks. Always a pleasure to have you with us. This one's about SPCE that we traded today. The ticker was extremely bullish after a successful flight on Saturday, after a neutral from, uh, from neutral to outperform upgrade this morning, and after an increasing amount of volume, if you see from right here, this was Thursday and Friday, these were big volume bars from these two bars here were Friday and Thursday and Friday. So increasing volume ahead of the flight and after the flight you get an upgrade. We're bullish on this. Now, many of you got stopped out. I believe many of you are trading with a PL attached to your um, computer and you're only watching your PL. Now, I'll show you how to rely more on a stop loss that will be dictated by support level or price level. Now, let's see this again. When you look at this chart, you have to see where support and resistance is from a long time ago. We're not only looking at today or intraday or see this, we had broken above this line here, right? When the market opened and we were above this line. So basically this line is an old line that we have to be above or under, right? And now let me put this line for you. So it's really close to 2375. Bottom, top. Let's scroll back to see how this works. Oh, again, top um, right here uh, in the middle of my screen. You see it's holding as support just before in October. It was resistance. Let's, let's scroll back again and see how it goes. So basically, we are at a pretty, pretty decent line, a little above, a little below, but very close to it. Now, let's go to the one hour trade, uh, one hour chart. One hour chart, 20 day, one hour. This is telling you something, right? It's telling you that it was resistance, went a little bit, a little above it, and then it started coming down. Now, our, I was pretty happy with that line. That line looks pretty strong to me. So the idea was if we get, you know, after this big gap up, if we get a drop down to this line, I'll be happy. However, it looked to me on the one minute, and I'll show you the one minute after the open, it looked as if we were not getting there, right? We started coming down. Take this here started coming down and we were starting to get bullish right here. So around this area, we alerted the trade for a, an entry on the, um, on the call side. We moved up. The premiums were moving very, very quickly. Look at what happened afterwards. It came down pretty much on that line, that 2375 line that we had resistance about, um, you know, less than 20 days ago. We went up again and went down, looked for new buyers, and then we were really hugging that line pretty much, right? I'll show you something else. Let's see the five minute chart, what it looks like. Five minute, five minute will tell you something else. Look at this how we're very bullish and how when we're closing in on that line volume is decreasing very rapidly so in the end we were in a little early and we came down to our support which in the end was really the best entry point that we could have had um, so if you're looking at your PL, you could have been red at this point, obviously, 
But the idea is not, oh, I'm, I'm red, I'm red, I'm panicking. No, is where is support? What are the chances of flushing down below? And why would be flushing down below? Sometimes there's no reason we flush for no reason. But in this particular case, after, like I said, a an upgrade that was really bullish after a successful flight. And after this huge volume you get something that we know will start moving at some point. So um, once you're in and you're looking at uh, possibilities of um, having something that is bullish or bearish, you can also look at who else is buying. And if you looked intraday, you probably saw that some fella bought 2.75k worth, uh, 74k, sorry, worth of um, 38 options, 38 calls for somewhere in hmm, October. And there was somebody else bought 813. 32 calls for July. That's a pretty big amount of money if you're looking at something that is bullish and out of the money. Both of these people were, in my opinion, uh, and this particular guy was above the ask. And that makes it, above the ask, makes it a lot more bullish than you can think of. So basically, these were all traded at around 10 o'clock. Better entry than we had. However, you, you see that people are bullish when we start getting there. And in the end, it started to be ramping up. So we ended up entering a little early. However, the target was still the same. My first target was the test of that pre-market, you know, we, we were bullish, became bearish, and we stopped right at this point. Well, I suspect that this point is gonna be tested again, which happened, right? So this first target, first exit, and then we ended up selling half of the remaining position at 100% and keeping the rest for a possible ramp up on the next few days. But we were in the money, Everyone was happy, and the idea was to get to 25 because we were playing the 25 calls for this week. And this is a simple explanation of how you need to determine ahead of time where your stop loss will be. Not a percentage point, but literally a line in the chart that you're happy with. Sometimes it will dip a little below, but you need to be very strong about your line, knowing where it is and knowing where to exit. Because knowing where to enter is one thing, but knowing where to exit is where the money is. I hope this, help, this helps you out, and I'll, I'll see you again shortly for a, another great win. Take care, folks. Nice to have you with us.